Okay, in this session I'm going to talk about naming inputs and mapping sources to buttons. You want to go to the configuration button and you have three different boxes down here, three different options which are Apply Control, eBox, and Panel Assign. First thing we're going to go to is Home, Config, eBox. And then you'll see we have some other things that we can do here, but right now we're just going to talk about the inputs. So within inputs, uh, you can name them. Uh, now this is the actual inputs going into the kayak. This is not the, the buttons that they're corresponding with. It's just, uh, it's just naming each individual input. And then we'll get to where we're actually going to assign these inputs to the buttons here in just a minute. Whenever you're modifying the name, you can see right here, you, you can modify the name of the input. You can also modify its long name. Uh, if you're modifying the name, uh, it's only going to be four characters, up to four characters. And modifying the long name, you can have up to eight. Whenever you modify the four characters, you'll see it then corresponding over here above the two, above the preview uh, preset bus and the ME bus up here you'll see it actually uh, uh, pop up the little LCD screen. So if I was going to name input number one, right now it's already named camera one, input two is named camera three, but there's nothing on input three yet that has been named. I know for a fact that input three is the playback A machine. So I'm going to modify the name and I'm gonna go play PBA, let's say. Uh, I don't have to do it in all caps. I can do it in lowercase letters because over here, when I see my four, my four character uh, LCD, it's all going to be caps anyway. So don't think that you have to sit there and hit the shift every single time. Uh, you can if you want to, but you don't have to. So I'm going to name that playback A. Okay, you see playback A pop up there. And then if you want to name playback B, which I know number four is playback B, I'm going to go play back B, OK, and now you see I have the first seven inputs named. If you've got more inputs, you can continue on here. And, you know, if it was number eight with something else, uh, I, I could modify the name right there as well. And that's basically how you name each input.